Hi, today we would see how to operate the bill button in Guinness's POS. The bill is a record of the commercial transaction between the customer and the retailer. As you can see, there are two items displayed in the item display area, ready to be billed. Now, we would see how to operate each option in the bill button action list. Right on top, we find the discount option already highlighted, followed by remarks, other information, reprint, hold, recall, help bill, void and clear. The bill level discounts operates on the bill as a whole. For the bill level discounts, we can do two things. We can either hit the control and five keys together or select the discount option in the bill button. In the select discount window opens up to show a list of available bill level discounts. We choose the discount to be applied and click select. The enter discount window opens up with the discount details. Please note that the factor can be edited by a user who has those privileges. Click OK to apply the discount. To remove a discount, click clear discount. To go back to the list, click on cancel or the list button. So we click on the OK button to apply this discount. Remember, at any point of time, only one bill level discount can be applied. Now, we move on to remarks. This allows you to insert a bill level remark. You can either hit the control plus six keys or click the remarks option from the bill button to open the enter remarks window. As you can see, the other information option is disabled. It is an upcoming feature to be discussed in our future tutorials. Now, you may need to reprint a bill for many reasons, whether on the customer's request or for administrative purpose. The bill reprint can be accessed by either clicking on the reprint option in the bill button or hitting the control and nine keys together. The search bill window opens. You can search a bill in four ways, that is, giving the date range within which the bill was made, the name of the registered customer, the bill number, or the item's barcode. We will show you the rest of the operations using the customer name option. Please note that this must be a registered customer who has been tagged to the bill. We type in the customer Sapna. Note that the show list button is available to help you select the customer if the full details are not available. Now we click the search button. This displays a list of bills belonging to that customer. So we choose the relevant bill and click reprint. The bill is printed if the printer is connected. Please remember you can change the search criteria by clicking on the change search criteria button. The bill hold option allows you to keep a bill on hold while keeping the pause operation smooth. This might be needed when a customer is taking a little more time to make his payments or has requested the cashier to hold the bill because he wants to shop a little more. The bill hold can be accessed either by control plus 7 or by clicking the hold option in the bill button. Putting on the control plus 8 keys, the last held bill is recalled. But to display all bills, we need to click on the recall held bill option in the bill button. This opens a bill on hold window. You would see below there are two radio buttons which let you toggle between showing the held bills in the current terminal or on all the terminals. Please note that clicking on the cancel button deletes the selected bill record. So we choose the relevant bill and click on the recall bill button for further operations. The unsaved current bill can be cleared by either clicking the clear option in the bill button or using the control plus zero shortcut keys. Please remember to cancel saved bills, you need to make them void. Bills may need to be made void for various reasons. The customer may decide not to make the purchase. You may need to make changes to the bill after saving when a duplicate bill is mistakenly created. To make the bill void, click the void option in the bill button. 
This opens the search bills window. As we have already shown you, bills can be searched in many ways. This time, we put in the bill number and click the search button. This opens up the list of bills window. Select the bill and click the void button. The select reason window will open up. Hitting the lookup button opens the reason lookup window which contains the list of reasons predefined by the HO. Select the valid reason and click on OK. Click on OK again. So, we've gone through all the operations in the bill button. For more information on Guinness's pause, subscribe to our Guinness's channel. Thank you.